Okay, hello everyone. I'm going to show you real quick how you can make a um, bomb shelter a la uh, Cold War in the uh, 1960s and early 70s. Alright, so in order to build something reminiscent of a bomb shelter, we're obviously going to start with something simple like a box. So, first thing I'm going to do is drop this to be 2 by 2 millimeters and that's going to give me a nice building block that I can use to really kind of create. So now I can drag this all the way up, all the way down, but I think I'm going to use this at a height of 30 millimeters. Now I can hit control and C and copy it and control and V to paste it or I can hit control D to duplicate it and now since I just did uh, one keyboard command and then I uh, like just dragged down like that it basically made a, an instantaneous copy exactly how I made the other one so let me show you that one more time so I'm gonna delete all of that. We're going to go two by two by 30. I'm going to hit control D and I'm going to move it down here. Control D, control D, and now they're spaced perfectly apart from each other. That's just a little trick I like. Um, now I'm going to take these and let's make them 20 millimeters apart All right. and now we can look at them at the sides they don't I don't think they're perfectly in line so what I'm going to do is highlight there and put that in line and Put that in line this is the alignment tool you can use that to make sure that whatever you're uh, highlighting is perfectly in alignment with the other so I can now highlight those two and look that one is already perfectly in alignment let's try these and they're they're gray meaning that they're in perfect alignment with what's grayed out all right so perfect now the next thing I want to do is build a little platform because what I'm going to do here is uh, this will be uh, my bunk bed type area. So to build the platform I think the easiest way I can do that, let's go home real quick, is if I take my work plane and I put it right on top of that one, it's going to be on top of all of them. I'll take my box and let's lower that. Now I could have just a flat bed or table or whatever I want this to be. Um, but I'm gonna keep this at uh, 10 millimeters in height and then it's 35 by, let's keep our measurements nice and honest here, 55. So uh, the next thing I'm gonna wanna do is drop my work plane down to the bottom. And as you can see, that's just right on top. I'm now going to duplicate that and I'm going to change this to 50 by 30 and then I'm going to hold down the command button and just tap up twice that is going to allow me to move that a millimeter or two millimeters higher than uh, what it was inside of or what I built it off of and now if I just highlight these two things, I want to align and align. And now that's perfectly centered within my larger rectangle. I'll make it a hole now. What I can do with that is then group it. Now I've got a little bed type area. Although it looks like in the process I made a mistake and I grouped that table leg. So I'm going to ungroup it. I'm going to just go ahead and delete that. Actually, you know what? Let's just control Z everything. There we go. And rather than do that that way, I'm going to group these table legs together.
now I can do these over here. Oops. Now I can ungroup. Now I can align. And I'm going to make that a hole and group. Next thing a bunk bed is going to need is a little ladder. So again, I'm going to get my friend the box. And this, let's see, this is 10 millimeters tall. The legs here are 30, so this whole height is a height of 40. So then what I'm going to want to do is change this to a 40 tall. And again, we're going to go with 2 by 2. We're going to duplicate that. And then we're going to duplicate that again, only this time we're going to sweat, uh, rotate that 90 degrees. And the length of this isn't going to be 40. Let's make it 10. Put it right between here. Alright, and then this we're going to want to stick that over a little bit so when I align these three pieces it'll look like they're touching we're making the ladder here so align align and I'm going to put this one on the bottom oops look I did the same thing I did before where I aligned the two legs but that's okay because watch this I can just tap over with my mouse, tap over with my mouse, and that looks all right to me. So the next thing I'm going to do is hold down my uh, control button and just tap up two. And then I'm going to duplicate this rung I've made, hold down control, tap up, oh that seems good. Alright, and now I have a ladder. Next thing I want to do is group this whole ladder together. Looking good. And before I uh, bring this over to the bunk, I'm going to highlight everything. I'm going to just make sure that it's aligned nicely here. And if I'm being honest, this looks kind of silly as a bunk bed. I probably want my bunk bed to be as wide as my leg so right now that's 22 by 40 so we're just going to change the dimensions of this to 40 by 22 highlight this whole thing again center and that aligns the bed nicely all right so I'm gonna now group that all together I'm going to bring my ladder over here. And I've got a nice IKEA style bunk bed. And you know what? Let's group that ladder or align that ladder to the end. Oh, it's already done perfectly. Looking good. So now I have my bunk bed in the corner. All right? Now I'm going to repeat the same process more or less and make a table. Only the table is going to be simpler and easier because I don't need to make a hole in the top or build a ladder. So let's do that. Uh, let's make the table just one by one as far as the leg is concerned because it doesn't need to be as sturdy as the bed. And then the height will say 15. We're gonna control D, duplicate. And let's give them a nice big table. And then we're gonna highlight both, control D, duplicate 
we're going to use the same trick with our work plane, putting our work plane on top, build our box, and then with the table, just the height of one to match the legs. I'm going to slide that over and out of the way a bit while I now bring the work plane down, highlight just the legs, group them together, highlight the table and the legs, align, and there. And now we have a nice fancy looking table. And now, now that I've grouped this all together, if I want to adjust the size and dimensions, I can. Oh, look at that. This table is misaligned. Ungroup. Align in the center, not the end. All right. So let's say I'm looking at this table and I'm like, ooh, you know what? Compared to the bunk bed, not that great. I want it a little bit bigger. I could do this and then that adjusts the size, but see how it warps? If I hold down the shift button, I can do that and then it moves the table in proportion so I can make it really small or go bigger. Again, I'm just holding down the shift button, then I can grab any one of these boxes here and adjust it however I want. So, you know what? This table seems happy to me. All right, now I gotta build a chair. Same idea as the table. Oops. Oh, hang on, let's try this again. One. one by one and this is a height of 20 all right and then we're going to duplicate that and then we're going to duplicate that and we're going to drop these down to a height of 10. yeah i moved them too far from the back legs and this is just like a Hey, I wonder, you know, how this might or should look. And now we're going to do our work plane trick. That's an empty box. That's not what we want. I'll just make it solid. All right, and we are going to drop this to a 1. And let's say, let's see what a 10 looks like. I wasn't really counting. That's going to be all right. And then let's make this 10 as well. See how that looks as far as my chair is concerned. That actually looks all right. And you know what I can do next? Let's bring the work plane back down to the bottom. We're going to duplicate that. We're going to rotate that. If I get closer, there we go. It kind of moves in 90 degree increments. And then we're going to move that into place. Alright, now what I want to do is highlight just the legs, group them together. Now I want to highlight my back and my seat there. If I can, gotta get my view correct back and my seat if I'm holding down shift I can highlight uh, more than one object at a time they're already in good alignment so I'm going to group them all right now the back and seat and the legs are grouped now I can align them and I'm probably going to want to align the back and seat along the back legs there all right and that looks okay for a chair, but look, I made a mistake with the back here because I grouped it and it's not all the way on the end. So what I'm gonna do is click that and ungroup. A lot of Tinkercad is just trial and error. And look, I can't get that into alignment the way I'd like. So what I'm gonna do, oh look, I highlighted the table there. I'm gonna highlight just the legs and the back align and there's that back dot that should get me nice and aligned there and it did now I can highlight the whole chair again 
and group. So now I have a chair, I have a table, put the chair at the table, then I can duplicate the chair. Put it there. I can duplicate the chair again. And put it here. I'll duplicate one more time. Ninety. Oops. One eighty. There we go. So I got a nice table and chairs. I have a nice bunk bed. Last thing I'm probably gonna want is my. Um. Let's see. A pantry. All right. So we're gonna basically build the same type of thing, except this time it's a survival shelter, right? Pantry's gotta be big. We're going to say this is going to be 2 All right, by, let's say, 50 for a height of 50. All right, that's good. Now we're going to duplicate this. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees. Now we're going to align this on the end and in the back. Now I'm going to duplicate this side and just move this all the way over to this side. Alright, looking good so far. Now I'm going to duplicate that again and I'll rotate this down 90. I'm basically making a giant square room. I'm using uh, the mouse buttons to, uh, or the, the, the trackpad to slide in and out and change my view. Sometimes view can be a tricky thing in Tinkercad. Oops. See it's under the plate there, so we're going to just put that in, build that in. All right, now I'm going to duplicate that again. Oop, that's not where I want it. Delete. Duplicate that. We're going to move it up. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. I got lucky there as far as uh, picking my measurements. All right. So it looks like this one wall needs to come over a little bit. And look, my top shelf here needs to come back a bit. Or all of my shelves did. Alright, so check it out. What we're going to do, we're going to highlight everything, align, and we're just going to have everything align there. And, oh, that was the bottom. We're going to highlight everything, align, and I'm hopeful, nah, none of these alignment tools are going to do the trick for me. So it's easier if you don't build it wrong to start. So right now we're just going to highlight all of our shelves in the top here. Zoom in and then just push them back into place. And obviously the top, which I already did, needs to get pushed. Now we look happier. All right. Now obviously these are too deep to be a usable shelf. So I'm going to highlight everything except our back piece, hopefully, and my, I don't want the chair highlighted everyone, if I can hold select I can unselect whatever I've highlighted this way, there we go. And now rather than that being 50, I want this to be 10. Good morning. I'll do the same thing here because I missed it. Now I got a nice shelf. I 
I could take a cylinder. One by, uh, let's see, one by, let's say, two. Maybe that's too small for a can of food. Grab that, make it a little bit bigger. I'll put that up on the shelf. Oops, gotta make sure you don't slide on that trackpad there. All right, now, if I put this in the corner, I can do Control D, move it over here, then Control D, 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 D. I can fill my shelf. And let's make that even easier. This time, I'll grab a box, and I'm gonna change my color to yellow just so we get some variety in here. We're gonna make this three wide, um, by two. Actually, let's make that font. Nope. Well, that's fine. Five and then five. And then put that there. This is some other kind of edible item, I'm, assu I'm assuming. Control D. Fill the shelf. Alright, now we're going to move our work plane up. And we're going to grab another box. And kind of looks like a box of cereal. I hope. Obviously that can't be red. We'll change the color to green. Control D. Can only hit four of those on a shelf. I don't know if that's a good use of space in here. And then we'll do one more. Fill the last shelf. All right. And we'll grab probably another cylinder because, you know, hey, it's a bunker. There's going to be a lot of canned food. Uh, we'll say two. By three. Make it four by four. It's better canned. Put that there. Again, we don't want this to be orange. Let's make that one blue. Control D. All right. Now, we're gonna take our work plane, drop it back down. Oop, looks like we didn't ever connect the ladder to the bed, so we'll do that now. But what we can do if we want is we can take this shelf that we so happily created here duplicate it but we can actually use this to create a little bit of a room Oops. And now I've got a nice room ready to go. And now over here, we'll just highlight some of this stuff. Actually, you know what? That seems like it's going to get messy. So I'm actually going to highlight all of this stuff. Control D. Going to rotate this out of place. 
Oh, I missed too much. All right. Looks like we can only do one at a time. This is why it's actually important to, uh, when you have your control D going, especially if you're not building out everything. To not lose it. Because you end up with goofiness like what you're seeing there. There you go. And that, my friends, oops, is more or less a bomb shelter. Maybe you want to put in an extra size bike or something else. But that is how it's going to work. I might, if I'm feeling uh, adventurous, take a ladder, right, and drop it down from the ceiling to show that it's coming underground. I could even take this ladder over here. And put it just going up. That's not going to work. So what we'll do is control C, V. And this can show the way in to the shelter here. Maybe I'll put a fire pole in. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. And that is that. <laughs>